Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. We begin with Ian Schwartz and the forecast. Good afternoon, Mike. Uh, starting to warm up nicely as we head into the afternoon hours. 91 in Carlsbad, 74 in Clovis, 74 in Albuquerque right now. We can expect highs in the mid-80s and sunshine uh, to go around. But a chance for storms as we head into the afternoon hours here. Cold front's going to drop down and that could fire off some storms on mainly on the eastern side of the state. We could see some severe weather out of that, so we'll keep that in mind. But uh, the south Southwest and northwest is looking pretty good, and so is the seven day forecast in Albuquerque. We'll have a high of 89 on Tuesday, turn it up to 92 for you on Wednesday, and gradually getting warmer as we head into the weekend. But a lot of sun to go down, uh, go around, and uh, some nice looking nights as well. Mike. Okay, Ian. The cooler weather and calmer winds are helping in the battle against a number of fires around New Mexico. Containment for the stable fire in the Bosque south of Bolina is now at 50%. As many as 90 acres have burned, while no structures there uh, have fallen. There are some buildings about a mile away that could be threatened. The fire is believed to be human caused. The man accused of shooting to death. Two people, including his own son, and wounding three Roswell police officers has been arraigned on murder charges. David Vega is accused of killing his 25-year-old son, Christopher Vega, and Christopher's girlfriend shortly after bonding out of jail in May. Soon after, Vega and officers exchanged gunfire. Vega's arraignment was Friday via video feed from the prison in Los Lunas, where he has been recovering. Jail officials say he's well enough now to be transferred to Roswell to face charges in person. A preliminary hearing was set for June 18th. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.